Hello, Sagittarius. I'm Ulrich. I'm a Ramon card reader, but today we will do a spiritual philosophical card reading uh, for the sign of Sagittarius. These are more, these cards are more kind of advisors. Uh, they tell you um, or they advise you uh, to go in certain directions in life or not to go in certain directions in life. Um, they suggest what to do and what not to do. Anyway, uh, Sagittarius, we will go immediately, uh, go for it for your card reading, uh, spiritual, philosophical, for uh, the month of April. Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to your spiritual, philosophical card reading as your first card here. Um, it's the time uh, that we take a step back. Maybe uh, you see here the person, uh, she or he is arrived in a maze. Um, uh, they probably are walking around uh, a little bit for a while already, and they don't exactly know what the direction is to take. Uh, it's possible also that you feel uh, you yourself, you have reached a dead end here. Um, it's possible that it's a, a certain way of thinking uh, that we are having here. Um, maybe there are certain choices in our life uh, that were very convenient before or that helped us before in our life. But maybe these choices that we have made before in our life no longer serve us. And maybe um, you are past that. Maybe you have uh, reached a different stage in life and it don't reflect your current mind anymore in any way. So if you see that you have reached a uh, dead end, um, don't force yourself going into di this direction. So this, the cards here advise you to stop going in that direction, take a step uh, back here and ask yourself, are your giving certain perspectives up in your life. Is this really you? And, and are there certain truths, inner truths about yourself that you are ignoring? Um, normally, Sagittarius, they are a very honest sign uh, because it's, uh, it's ruled by Jupiter and Jupiter is about justice. And here we are asked if we are really honest with ourselves. If you think probably about uh, how honest you are with yourself, you will see here that the path that you have are currently walking is not bringing you in the direction where you actually need to go. Maybe you see that the path brings you no good. It could mean that it brings you no prosperity. It could mean it's a dead end, but you will know for yourself uh, it's no good for you. Um, we all have an ego. We develop personality. This happens since we are a child. There are our parents. There are this, There is our study. There is an, our education. Uh, all things that happen to it shapes us in who we are. And sometimes here, it it tells us here that um, our ego is downplaying this maze that we are in. Um, it it's possible here that the current situation we see it only as a tool for our survival. And sometimes this is also about herd mentality. It's not because of 60% of the people are jumping in the water, you need to jump in the water also. If you have different opinions, you should apply them. Maybe the group that you are in or the job that you are following, your heart is not in there. Maybe these people are no longer like-minded. And here, like-mindedness is very important here. It's important that you are honest and sincere with yourself. It will make you survive here in the harsh time that we are having. It's important sometimes not to follow the herd, not to follow the crowd. And we need to do what we really want to do. This is important here. In a way, you, you know that the path that you are taking is wrong. You know it, but you just ignore it. Um, Sagittarius is also about faith and spirituality. And it's possible also that you lost your spirituality. You lost your faith in certain ways in your life and you chose a wrong direction. But here this card tells us, this is the other side of the card. It tells us it's not too, uh, too late to take a step back. You can still think, uh, turns things around and get back on track. But here it's important that we don't jump with the group, but that we seek support of soul family, people who are like-minded. Don't go against the flow. Uh, if the group of people or the, 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 the things that you that not working in your life, don't try to 
clamp to them. Don't try to hold on. Maybe it's time to let go. And you need to find like a soul family. It doesn't necessarily mean your family. This is not what it's about. But it's you need to find people who are like-minded, who feel that the times are changing. It's important here um, with this combination. Sometimes also we need to meditate for courage, to align ourselves with our higher spirit. We need to be especially steadfast and diligent in our choices. Um, if we make choices, they come with advantages and with disadvantages, and we are the ones who are responsible for the, these choices. Not making a choice is making a choice also. So you see here the person, he's scratching in his hair where to go. This is probably where you ended up here. And you need to make choices here and you will be accountable for those choices. It is staying in the maze or getting out and make decisions. Anyway, you will have the power here to challenge and interfere for going in this direction. Um, remember, there is something above you. Normally, uh, Sagittarius, they're a very wise sign. And you need to go back in your inner wisdom here. Follow your higher mind. And here we see we have the energy, the power for interfering this patch that is not good for us. Remember your higher self and, and go back. Take a step back before you drift from the path where you actually need to go. And probably you need help from like-minded people. The next card that we are seeing here is the card that tells us don't take it in the wrong way. What does this card tell us? Well, uh, possibly because we are uh, turning around and going in circles here, um, we are more easy to be agitated. We are more easy to be insulted. Um, it's possible also that we are easy to mock other people's here. Um, it's possible also that we have the feeling that why do these people do that to me? Maybe it's because you're at the dead end. And, and here it's possible that uh, here um, that your peace of mind, you're robbed of peace of mind because you keep going in circles. And, and it's possible that others try to you could have the feeling that it's like these people are persecuting me. But it's because probably you yourself have changed. Here we see that our higher mind, it understands that sometimes we need to let ourselves be guided by our feelings, but what is in the future. And also if we act and react in certain ways, um, it has a certain impact on people. Um, maybe this group of people is no longer fitting you. There is there are some offensive words. And these people probably will not change their mind because they belong to a certain group thinking. If people are thinking in a certain way, they are maybe paralyzed in a certain situation. Um, this is possible that they have the experiences that they cannot move, that they are in a, a form of uh, paralyzation. This is what we are seeing. Sometimes, sometimes also you could have the feeling that the people around you, they are like hypnotized and that you think to yourself, don't they see the bigger picture and they, you experience insults and it makes you irritated. This is what we are seeing here. But here it's best, the best thing to do is that you are the wise Sagittarius and not to let these offenses come to you. They can offend your ego, but they cannot offend your soul because it's not possible here. Um, it's not really personal here what we are seeing here. It's the flow of times and these people can only come out of this hypnotized conditions related to health, related to current conditions, related to what governments are putting up on us here. So don't take it the wrong way. But once this balloon is blowing up, there will be a lot of people coming to these realizations. And probably you see what is coming but it's sometimes difficult if we are in a certain state of mind for getting out. And maybe you see what is coming. This is what we are seeing here. You need to follow here yourself. You see, there is something going on here. And there are probably certain situations that you are attracting. And 
The question here is, what lessons do you need to extract of it? What do you need to learn from it? It's possible also that you could have the feeling that it's your ego persecuting you. This could be, but it could also be the times. It could be a connection of both here that we are having here. So pay attention to the times and also pay attention how some people behave around you and don't take things as a personal affront. If you have a different opinion, if you are pro, if you are contra, if you're in the middle, it's all the same. But if your um, opinion deviates, it's possible that there are some difficult times here. You could be confronted with criticism or you are giving criticism. If this leads to a very difficult situation, it's best sometimes here that we turn back, that we take distance. It's possible that you no longer fit there. It could bring you also a kind of bitterness. This is what we are seeing here. And it could also bring a suffering. This is what we are seeing here. And it could mean that we, we are unable to find inner peace. But I think here, if I, if I see the current readings in general, this is coming to an end. We are in the end phase. And the last, the last steps sometimes are difficult. And I think here now we're going to the last steps. A lot of people experience this here. Anyway, remember that nobody can hurt your deeper self here. So if people um, try to offend you, try to separate you, it's best here that we take a distance approach. It's best that we take it with a, a grain of salt and we let go of this resentment. Um, it's best here to pay your attention or to focus your attention or turn your attention here to the current situation and learn the lessons from it. This could be a repetitive lesson that humanity already had before and you could be a conference and you could be the one seeing this and it could be a repetition. Literally, it could be a collective dirt that is upon us because people didn't learn in the past. And it's possible that you see it here. Um, the problem is also, the real problem is here that you doubt yourself and, and you turn to others for affirmation, but how can they affirm you if they don't see the problem and that the problem is reoccurring? So the only thing that you will have here is that you stand alone. You stand here in the side of the road and the other are taking the carriage. But it doesn't necessarily mean because you stand alone, it's wrong. Because here we see that our spirit is unique. So just turn a blind eye, be the smart one. Um, if there are offensive behaviors here for people who cannot see where this is going or cannot see their own inner light anymore because they are hypnotized or they are in a state of something else here. So go back to your own inner strength and choose for your own peace. And sometimes we need to distance ourselves. And we probably, the last card here is also a very good advisor. It's the last card we should change for peace, choose for peace, but also for a change of decor. This could be literally that we need a change of scenery. Um, it's possible here that um, you are confronted with limitations, with certain perspectives, and it gives you very few options in life. So here this card advises us also to turn our mind. Um, we need to, this is the card also of liberation. So we need to liberate ourselves from the scenery that we are, uh, that we are in. Sometimes it can, we need to literally take a walk, uh, go for a long walk for, for getting our mind straight. Um, Sagittarius is also a traveler. Sometimes this is also about travel. If you have the possibility for taking a short trip, if this is possible uh, with, with the current conditions, even if you don't agree with certain obligations, maybe you can make a short trip because for some long journeys, we, we are obligated to have certain uh, requirements. If you don't agree with those requirements, whatever they may be, um, you could take a short trip. This is what we are seeing here for clearing your mind, maybe a place where you have been before. Um, 
and, and because there is much to discover in life. So Sagittarius is the traveler of the belt. And sometimes now during these days, it's uh, difficult to travel, but um, I'm sure in the future, this traveling will become more easy. But um, if you disagree with certain conditions for traveling, especially for long distance, uh, it doesn't necessarily mean you need to go jump in the water as we saw earlier. Um, here we see um, sometimes we have we also, we are limited. We think there is no more possibilities, but there are. Because this tells us we just need a change of scenery. Sometimes we can change our mind or, or clear our mind with a short trip, something that interests you. This could be meditation. This could be a place where you like to be. This could, could be a place where you have gone before. Whatever applies on you here, we, you need a change of scenery. This is what we are seeing here. Um, if you are looking for it, if you're looking around you, you open your eyes, you will see that you will be uh, presented new ideas. If you change groups, this also people will come in your life. There will be original inspirations. But as we saw here, you need to get out of the maze. And with these new uh, experiences, you will be able to reconnect with the higher Sagittarius mind. This is what we are seeing here. So don't let your ego resist here. Let the collective resist yourself because of, because of the trap here that a lot of us are in. So free yourself, get out, take a, a trip with the, with the limitations if you don't agree with certain rules and regulations and try to see things from a different perspective. Sometimes reading also can be a good thing about cur current situations that are going here. Uh, sometimes we can travel also in books here. Um, there's a lot of things going on here now that occurred in the past and that reoccurring now, but people cannot just see the picture and maybe you're the one who see the big pictures and it's not easy, but you could confirm this in certain books or by traveling. So Sagittarius, this is all for this month. I hope you get a little bit wiser out of this, uh, out of this philosophical card reading. Uh, if you want additional uh, information, you can also check the, the Lenormand card readings, the monthly Lenormand card readings, and of course, the financial card readings that I do each month for your sign. There are also more philosophical uh, card readings. Anyway, uh, thank you for your time, uh, Sagittarius. Thank you for subscribing, and we see each other next time. Bye-bye for now.